Hey, it's Jay Patterson with Kill Pop, and we're hanging out here in the uh, lovely Love Lounge. I mean, you know, we got the incense going, we got the candles, Maria Brink in this moment, and, and of course, uh, Mr. Dreads, I, I just want to get some hair tips. I mean, uh, what kind of shampoo do you use for that? I use head and shoulders. I didn't see any flakes at all, so it's working. Something's working. Something's working, yeah. It's um, working with somebody like Rob Halford, how humbling is that? Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's such an honor, yeah. And he's and he's such a humble, cool guy. Like, yeah. He is so sweet and nice, and we became friends with him because he came out to a show and kind yeah. of like acquaintances and stuff. And when we 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 weren't even gonna have a guest on that song, but when we were doing, kept singing the song, and every time I'd be like priest, and I kept saying priest, priest. I was like, oh, we gotta ask him, you know. Yeah. And he was so cool right off the bat. He was like, yeah, send me the song, you know. And he was completely into it. So that's awesome. an honor, and he's a sweetheart. I think there's a lot of people who are still discovering what In This Moment is all about. Can you encapsulate that into like a, a paragraph, you know, what somebody is into and what your mission is from a from a show standpoint, from a songwriting standpoint? Hmm. I, I know it's a big question. Uh, <laughs> I think we, we push the really theatrical boundaries. Yeah. And we, we do almost like a, a Vegas Broadway kind of passion, but it's not campy because it's still very passionate and yeah. honest and it's sensual and it's angry and it's sad and it's visually beautiful. We're trying to do something different and yeah, I think be remembered for something else. To encapsulate what she's saying, musically and visually, we're trying to create some kind of experience that people will feel yeah. and relate to and yeah. connect with somehow. A show. No matter what it is, yeah. stylistically, yeah. that's what we're trying to do. So where do you get your inspiration? I mean, I, I think it would be relatively easy to look at just, you know, the culture and the times you know, we're finally in a uh, in a generation where the youth is engaged in something political. But if you want to step out of those confines of politics or, or social, you can go to you know more of the uh, the ethereal. But where do you get your inspiration from? I think I get it from everything. You know, anything that's theatrical, watching the other bands, looking up you know Vegas shows online, looking up. Uh, Anything that can just inspire me, I'm always searching for inspiration. Okay. And, and just to kind of expand on that a little bit, being her musical partner for this long and trusting her, you know, inspiration. Because one thing about her is that she doesn't feel the connection to whatever the lyrics are or whatever she's singing. It's not going to. Whatever I'm wearing. She doesn't want to do it. And same thing with wearing and the yeah. show and everything. It it, it kind of takes different directions, you know, depending upon, but I think a lot of it's based in things that she's already been through, and certain things will inspire her as well, but a lot of it is rooted also in things that she's went through in the past. Okay, so switching gears completely, I mean, with the incense and the candles and, and the vibe that is in this moment, for breakfast, is it uh, is it chicken fried steak and eggs, or is it uh, melon balls and granola? No granola, but it is oatmeal. <laughs> No bacon. I mean, I love chicken fried steak and eggs. Come on! I, All right. Dude, I can't eat that every day, though. <laughs> I, mean, I can't. Love the I love animals. Uh, okay, so if you were going to collaborate with anybody, and you, you made the check mark next to Rob Halford, but uh, oh. who would that be? Alive or dead? I mean, God, that's such a hard one. Well, she's always been trying. We've been trying to get Chino to do something for a, a okay. while. Okay. Oh, right Chino. Favorite. Wow. Deftones. That would be singer. so cool. Yeah, him. He's phenomenal. Trent Reznor is phenomenal. Trent, yeah. Maynard. Yeah. Well, congratulations um, on everything, and oh, it's, it's especially with the new record. And and if you've never seen a uh, an in this moment show, you nailed it, Marie. It is a theatrical experience. You'll walk away feeling something, yeah. and and sometimes it might be like you're feeling creepy, yeah. and and sometimes it might be like almost a religious experience. Yeah, it's very, there's very a cool. spiritual sense to it, an yeah. empowerment sense. We have video now. So I built all the video to the entire show. Oh, very cool. So like cool. if I'm saying something now, I can visually even have that behind me. Or like I stand in front of, I'm in a forest now when I'm like this walking through and it looks like walking through a forest. It's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, check it out. It's in this moment. Go check out their uh, their new record with Rob Halford. It's uh, Kill Pop. Yeah.